As the countdown to the election continues, Kamala Harris and Donald Trump are making their final pushes for support in key swing states. Over the penultimate weekend of campaigning, both candidates converged on Michigan, one of the critical blue wall states that Democrats view as essential for victory on November 5th. Polls indicate a neck-and-neck -neck race, with over 38 million early ballots already cast. Voters face a historic choice. Elect the first woman president or the oldest commander-in-chief in U.S. history, Sponger. Harris is focusing on appealing to moderate Republicans who are disenchanted with Trump's tumultuous style. Attendees at her rally, like 62-year-old laborer A.D. Jefferson, express a preference for the Democratic candidate, citing Trump's chaotic leadership. This weekend, Harris is joined by former First Lady Michelle Obama in Kalamazoo, Michigan, following a high-energy rally with Beyoncé in Texas. Harris's campaign is centered around outreach in diverse neighborhoods, particularly targeting Black and Latino voters in Pennsylvania, where she campaigns on Sunday. Meanwhile, Trump aims to regain lost ground in the Blue Wall states he captured in 2016 but lost to Biden in 2020. He is holding rallies in Michigan and Pennsylvania, emphasizing a robust ground game to sway voters in these tight races. Hist. His strategy includes tapping into the male audience of the popular Joe Rogan podcast, where he seeks to craft relatable moments. Quote, in a unique twist, Trump is set to hold a rally in Madison Square Garden, a venue in heavily Democratic New York, to flock. Despite the state's low probability of swinging to the Republicans, Trump aims to showcase his ability to fill a major arena in a Democratic stronghold. Critics, including Hillary Clinton, have highlighted historical concerns surrounding the venue linking it to a pro-Nazi rally from 1939. As both candidates ramp up their efforts, tensions rise over accusations against Trump, labeled by his former chief of staff as a potential authoritarian leader. With just days left until Election Day, the stakes have never been higher, and the outcome remains uncertain.